Ooh, I just had a brain fart right now. Welcome back to my channel. My best friend Angela in Hawaii just tagged me in a video and I'm honestly really, really excited to do this video. And I'm sorry that I keep looking down. I have my MacBook right in front of me and I have the um, list of questions on here. So Angela recently did a lip addict tag video and she tagged me. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. There are eight questions. I honestly just threw all my lip products in a bag and brought it to my mom's house. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and dump this out next to me. Okay, this is going to be fun. Alright, so uh, jumping right in, the first question is best lip balm. No matter what, like Burt's Bees never, never disappoints. Um, and they have a good variety of um, lip balms and stuff. Ooh, they have moisturizing, um, replenishing, nourishing, all of that sort. And they're all infused with natural oils, 100% natural ingredients in their products. Super, super um, amazing. And the one I have right now is the replenishing lip balm with pomegranate oil. And it smells delicious. Mm -hmm. I honestly just bought this one last week, so I have a while to go. But I always lose my lip balms, so I'm probably just going to buy like a couple. So if I lose one, I still have another one. And then if I lose that, I still have another one. And then if I lose that, well, I got to go buy more. And before the Burt's Bees, I was using Baby Lips from Maybelline, and I was all about that for a while, but now I'm all about that Burt's Bees. Next question, number two. Question number two. All right. You're Ravishing Red. This is a good one because I love dramatic lipsticks, and red is probably like the boldest of them all. really been good if I had organized them before starting the video but I didn't so what else I'm gonna have to work with what I got all right so I have two I could not decide between two and honestly they're the only two reds I have in my lipstick collection right now but they're amazing so I'm gonna share them with you both I'm gonna share them both with you that makes better sense all right so the first one is from Mac and this is Russian red and this is their um, one of their matte lipsticks. It's super, super, super gorgeous. Um, you can wear it matte, which I love, or you can always, you know, sh add a little shimmer or shine to it by applying lip gloss over. Let's see the next one. Sorry, the next one I have is from Avon, and this is the Ultra Color Rich lipstick in the. the, 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 the in the number U420. 420. A. A. Just kidding. And the name of this color is Poppy Love. And it comes in this packaging. It's super cute. It's um, a nice, more kind of on the coral side, more than like the red. So, this, the Russian red from MAC is a deep red, and the Poppy Love from Avon is a more coral kind of like bright red which is great for summer and whatnot and i totally just input my password on my macbook without looking down a what just kidding i don't know what's wrong with me i'm like really delirious today what ends oh and look at my little choker my cousin kayla you know kayla she made this. What, what? It's amazing. I love it. Alright, so question number three. Best drugstore slash high end. Ooh, good one. This one's easy. Super easy. If I can find it, it'll be easy. Right now, my favorite drugstore product that I have on me at the moment is. Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. 
and the one that I'm currently obsessed with, the color that I'm currently obsessed with is the Sassy Mauve color and the number is 463. Simple black, little too, you know, classic packaging. Um, I really want to try more um, drugstore lip products, so if you heard my grandma sneeze right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Okay. But yeah, I really want to try more drugstore lip products. I am always spending so much money on high-end lip products. And um, yeah, it, sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's bad because I would really love to splurge on high-end products of other sorts, like facial products like foundation and all that stuff, but I always tend to splurge more on high-end lipsticks rather than the other stuff, so I really want to try and get more into drugstore lipsticks, so if you have any recommendations for me, let me know in the comments below. Alright, that was dumb. Anyways, so, um, now on to high-end. High-end, yeah, my high, my best high-end lipstick. I don't know why I blinked out for a second. Um, if you have seen, ooh, why is there a dent in this? No, it's all good. Um, if you have seen my very first haul video, you may have remembered me mentioning this, and I'm mentioning it again because I'm in love with it, and I want you guys to know how much I love it. Um, it is the Too Faced lipstick. I forgot the name of the line or whatever. Um, if you go back to my other video or if you check out my blog, which will be linked down below, um, you'll get the full scoop on like the name, like the line of this lipstick. But it's by Too Faced and it comes in this nice little gold tube. And the color is Sweet Maple. It's so lustrous, creamy, long lasting, amazing. Like, hands down the best lipstick I've ever owned and I own a lot question number four ooh most disappointing this one's really sad because I have a lot all right so I'm gonna just start off easy and talk about the Maybelline baby lips um, tinted lip balms um, I know oh, I don't even know what happened like really torn apart it's really weird anyways um they're just waxy they don't more they don't moisturize my lips at all and I know they're only supposed to be tinted and not an actual like lip stick or anything but honestly the tint does not show up on my lips whatsoever so yeah that's all I gotta say about that very disappointing well, this one was probably like the worst let's see so I have the Revlon just bitten lip stain and balm in the color twilight this one the stain does not stain very well and it kind of just like dries out my lips even when I use the balm it just it does not work for me I got this to wear for my 22nd birthday last year and it just whatever reason like the universe was not on my side and it did not want to work for me very sad but, and I was like, I had high hopes for this line of red one. It just, I wanted to cry. My last most disappointing lip product. Super funny because I honestly just bought this today. I wanted to try it. I actually wanted to wear it today. But no, I took it right off because I just disliked it so much. I'm not going to say hate because hate is a strong word. But I honestly just really did not like, did not care for this at all. So it's the Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour um, two step color. And I got this in the color Timeless Toffee. So this is the packaging. And basically on this side is the lip product. So it's like the lip stain, lip gloss feel thing whatever and you apply that and then when you're done you take the balm you put it over the um, 
lipstick and it's supposed to kind of set it and stuff but this was really like waxy and not comfortable on my lips at all and then when I put the balm on it just like took off all of the product and it was really sad so very very disappointing um, if those products work for you then that's great they don't work for me so don't take my word for it it's just you know to each their own pretty much so for question number five fave MAC lipstick I have a ton of MAC lipsticks let's count them off more but what I have on me right now I have 13 um so my favorite MAC lipstick this is kind of hard because I have a ton of MAC lipsticks I would say that of all the MAC lipsticks I have ever owned in my lifetime would have to be are you ready are you ready I don't think you're ready ready for this spaghetti this is from the cream sheen part of their MAC lipsticks and this is ravishing it's honestly super super ravishing it's kind of like a it's a nude but more of like a darker nude I don't know I don't know how to describe it it just it's so amazing I love it I can wear it with almost any look I have going on that day. It's like my number one go-to lipstick out of all of the lipsticks that I own. Super, super, super amazing. I honestly, it's so amazing. I don't know what to say about it. Like, I'm at a loss for words. Speechless. That's how amazing it is. Oh my I'm like trying to hold all my MAC lipsticks in my hand right now and... This is it. Okay, let's just not do that again. The number six. Best lip gloss. I don't wear lip gloss, to be honest with you. I have a couple of lip glosses. Not much, because I'm not a lip gloss kind of gal. My lip gloss ain't popping, because I don't wear lip gloss. Number seven. Lip liner, yes or no? I say yes. I love lip liner. It, it's, I don't know what to say. Lip liner acts as like a really good base for your, your lips before you put on your lipstick. Um, it can enhance like the color of the lipstick. It can kind of change the color of the lipstick. Depending on what you're trying to do, lip liner can really work wonders. I have a couple of MAC lip liners. I have um, a couple of NYX lip liners. One NARS and some from Avon. Um, I wear lip liner. I don't wear it all the time. I wear it, of course, when I'm wearing deep like reds or vampy colors. Uh, just so the lip stick doesn't stay in my lips and the lip liner kind of like helps with that and um lip liner is good to just kind of uh you know um clean up like around your lips and kind of help shape your lips so lip liner is a definite yes for me last question number eight something extra well that kind of just stumped me because I wasn't prepared to film. I honestly just threw all my lip products in a bag and was like, alright, going to my mom's house to film. Wasn't prepared at all. I guess I can talk about like my new obsession with you. Which, alright, so I'm just going to go in, right into this. Uh, my new obsession is the Lip Tars from OCC, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. And I don't actually own 
a complete one. I've just been getting samples from Sephora for now. I have four different samples. The first one that I tried, which is weird because it's like, why would that be a first color to try? Especially for a lip product. And I don't know the name of this one. The, when they give you the samples in the um, in little bags and they write the name on it, sometimes it kind of like washes out. But I have one in black and I love it. And I also have one, this is one of their matte lip tars and this is a mannequin. It's a nice pink color. Honestly, it reminds me of Pepto-Bismol. But it's amazing. It's super nice. Um, I wore this the other day on top of my MAC Flox lipstick. And I was at work. And I got a couple compliments on it, which is really nice. It's always nice when you get compliments on your makeup and stuff. And by far, I'm loving OCC Lip Tars. Obsessed with Obsessive Cosmetics. Yeah. That's about it. I answered all eight questions. Yay! I survived this tag. I have to tag someone. I'm gonna tag my cousin Kayla. She's not a big lipstick person, but I'm hoping she does this video, which I'm seeing her later this week, so I'm gonna try and force her to do it. But yeah, so Kayla, I'm tagging you. And thank you, Angela, for tagging me. Um, I really enjoyed doing this video. Um, you can follow me on all my social media sites. Um, Instagram, Twitter, follow my blog. That will be in the description bar down below. I'm also going to tag Angela's channel and her lip tag video. And I'm also going to um, add, ooh, add um, Kayla's channel down below as well. She has two channels. Her like makeup channel and stuff. And she also sings amazingly well so i'm going to add both of her channels down below as well also let me know what other videos you would like to see um if you want to see more of my lipstick collection let me know i will be more than happy to share my love for lipstick with you all um but, 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 yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you soon bye that was a bad bye my voice cracked let's try this again Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to check everything out in the description bar down below. Um, yeah. Peace and love and all that good stuff. I am out. Bye.